Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And if you've watched my video earlier towards the end, I let you know that something big is coming out of T-Mobile. And this is it. T-Mobile's pulling out money. Now, may the speculation begin. So there's two reasons that's listed in here as to why this money is being pulled out. One for spectrum purposes and the other for large interest payments on debt. So, you know, we could start speculating. A lot of people are already asking the questions, you know, how much money did T-Mobile really spend on auction 110 from a competitive standpoint? You know, did T-Mobile get 20 megahertz on average nationwide and 40 megahertz in the in the markets that mattered? That would be tough. In terms from a competition standpoint, if T-Mobile went and got 40 megahertz in New York City, 40 in El Paso, 40 in Dallas, in those places, that would be tough, especially if Verizon didn't get any or they didn't get 40 in, in those markets. It would be tough to make up for that because Verizon is stuck at 60 megahertz on C-band until 2023. So if T-Mobile... And this spectrum comes with uh, deployment requirements. So this spectrum would have to be rolled out within a certain time frame. So if T-Mobile could put the spectrum to use early on, because this spectrum clears next year, they could widen the performance gap even more. And they would likely have to update investors again on guidance because now they potentially will have to spend more CapEx to deploy the spectrum as well. And kind of give us an idea of what they're wanting to do with that spectrum and where they want to take it. So they spent $9.3 billion in the C-band auction and they got 40 megahertz in the markets that mattered most to them. But they did get enough of the C-band spectrum in terms of scale to cover 225 million pops with that spectrum. Now, they haven't really given us a guidance or an idea as to how aggressively they want to roll it out. But they have that spectrum in their arsenal when it clears in 2023. So they got none of, the, none of the A block, which they really didn't need it because right now they're heavily deploying N41. But they got some of the blocks that clear in 2023. So they'll have access to that spectrum. In auction 110, however much they got. Again, right now it's not official. None of this is a guarantee, by the way. It's not guaranteed that they got 40. Not guaranteed that they got 20 or any for that matter. Um, what we do know is they are making a offering, a proposed offering to pull out money. We don't know how much yet. We'll, we'll see. We'll hear about that later on. But this could signal that they went big in auction 110. Again, it's speculative. It's a speculation. But if they did, some have told me that if they got 40 megahertz nationwide, 18 team Verizon may as well throw in the towel from a competition standpoint. Because they'll be chasing that, they'll be chasing T-Mobile for the rest of the decade, in terms of the amounts of density they need to deploy to match the same type of performance. So, it'll be interesting to see what takes place here. Um, just interesting from a standpoint as to what's actually happening. We want to see the assignment phase of auction one ten. That's when we'll know who got what spectrum and how much. And then we want to see what T-Mobile, what else T-Mobile is going to do with this money. It could be for, like I said, for interest payments. Um, <clears throat> you know, they could be using the money for Spectrum and then part of the Spectrum to make large purchase orders on equipment. We just don't know right now. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Um, look forward to reading your comments. Again, this could also signal that T-Mobile is really serious about becoming the new heavyweight in 5G with this purchase. If they do spend it all on Spectrum and, and, and equipment purchases, and if Verizon didn't, could be, whoa, could signal that T-Mobile is really serious. So let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys are liking, sharing, subscribing for more updates. Make sure you guys are hitting the notification bell so you are notified when I do upload content. Make sure to follow my social media outlets for more updates and interactions. Thanks again for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.